I really hope you aren't sick of this pretty shirt and my purple and green eye look. <laughs> I'm just behind on filming and I just saw a small slot in my day to film so that is what I am doing. So I hope you guys don't mind. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my Panda palette for 2021. As you know, I am panning my Franken palette, aka my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. In the beginning of the year, I frankened this to suit my needs this year, to make the shades more workable and better and what I want um, to use up this year. So I frankened a lot of this um, and I am still thinking about frankening a shade that I just don't know if I'm going to touch the way that it is now. I talked about this in my last month update, but I haven't done anything about it yet. Let me show you guys what my palette looked like last month compared to now. And this is what my palette looks like now. Do you remember my goals? Of course you don't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I don't remember people's goals. Let me repeat my goals for this month. My goal was to expand the pan in Sol de Caramel. I will show you the palette on the screen. Expand the pan in that shade. Hit pan on Marzipan. And then hit pan on Essence Snowflake, aka the white shade in this palette. And as you can see, I hit those goals. So that is really exciting. And I did continue to use the brow bone and the eyebrow shade every single time I wore makeup. I don't remember how many times I wore makeup in February. Maybe it was like, I want to say f five or six times, maybe more. Um, but yes, here we are. You will see on the screen how many times I have used the shades and then we can see how many times I have worn makeup in February. So let me go through the shade kind of one by one. I, I didn't touch every single shade, um, but I will talk you through the ones that I know I used. So that shade is Gilded Ganache. Yeah, I did not use that, <laughs> not even once the last two months, but I do think that is a going to be a focus shade for the uh, springtime. I have used Milk Chocolate uh, one or two times, and this month I didn't use that shade. I did. Did I use this shade? Maybe once or twice. I don't remember. Maybe I didn't count it because it was so little. But I did use Sol de Caramel quite a bit. As you can see, the pan is expanded. And I hit pan on Marzipan. So excited. I actually hit pan the first time after my, I filled my update. Um, so I, I was like one use away <laughs> to hit pan on it by the first update. But here we are, I have expanded it, the pan quite a bit and I love that shade so much. I love it even more now that I repress it with some highlighter because it's just so much softer and more shimmery and metallic looking. It is really nice. I love that shade now. This shade, shade number nine, as I call it, my brow bone highlight. I use this every single time I wear makeup except for today. But yes, that is a perfect highlight shade for my brow bone. I don't remember if I rem used the purple candy violet. Maybe I did. I mixed it in some purple highlighter if you can't tell because I did use up quite a bit of that one. Um, Amoretto I don't recall using and my other goal depend on that shade and I did. That is my everyday shade for in my inner corner. So that is pretty exciting that I hit pen on that. I am beginning to mix that one in with my brow bone highlight. Just because this is beginning to be a little bit darker and not so light anymore. So maybe I'm going to repress that with some lighter color or something like that. That is an easy shade to go through. Um, the green shade, same with the, as Gold Ganache. I didn't use it, but I do think that is going to be a focus shade um, soon. Then we have my brow shade. Just an everyday brow powder. I am expanding the pan as well as the brow bone shade. Then we have this shade down here. The big one is just a bronzy taupey shade. I have used that once or twice as well. 
So, not very exciting, not much to, to talk about because I didn't wear much makeup and I wore kind of the same looks. So there aren't that many uh, different looks to talk about. But yes, I'm very excited to hit my three goals for the month. I was very worried that I didn't meet the goal on this uh, white shade because you don't need a lot for the inner corner. But I did it. I'm very happy. <laughs> Some focus shades and goals for next month. I really want to repress salted caramel and maybe I can hit pan on it again. I really want to start using the green shades because we are in March and spring might be coming. <laughs> Blue sky at least in here um, in Denmark. So I do think that is going to be a goal. Repress and hit pan on salted caramel again. Have a dent in these two shades. Um, what can you pair it with? Maybe the purple? Maybe? Or at least just hit expand the pen. Yeah, master pen. That is kind of my go-to lid shade at the moment. But yes, I do think I'm just going to focus on this half as I am. Um, and then use these shades here and there. Just as I have. Maybe this one can be paired with the green nicely. I don't know. But I really want to focus on the greens. This month. Now you will see the looks that I have done this month and yes that is everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stick around for other panning videos and empties videos on my channel. I do quite a lot and I will now film my Pandora's eyeshadows update. That is quite exciting as well so look out for that and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and please take care and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!